Right now, I'm on the roof of the dry lab at Tulick Field Station, where it's a fairly flat surface that's soaking in a lot of the sun's rays and not getting shaded by many of the things around here. So it's a good spot to leave things out in the sunlight. One of the things we're most interested in up here in the Arctic is how sunlight alters and degrades organic matter in rivers and lakes and in natural systems. To help better understand that or show how light can have a profound effect on organic compounds, I thought I'd take some less natural mixtures of organic molecules, such as sodas like Coke and Orange Crush, and just expose them to the sun. And I've tried to get some more naturally colored things like apple juice, Earl Grey tea, and coffee. I took duplicate samples, one that I would leave out in the sun, and then another that I would wrap in foil and leave in the dark in a styrofoam box next to them, so they're still under the same temperature and, and weather changes, but the only difference is that these ones are getting lots more sunlight than these ones. It's actually kind of interesting that things that are left out in the sun are effectively sterilized. Like all the microbes that would be in that sample get killed off by the UV light. Not unlike the same UV light that kills our skin cells and gives us a sunburn, it kills all the microbes in these samples. I can show you the dark control samples now. For instance, here's the Mountain Dew that's been left out in the sun and the Mountain Dew that was left wrapped in foil in the dark. One of the most striking, the Coke that's light and coke that was kept in the dark, and the orange crush that was kept dark compared to the orange crush that was kept in the light. Some black coffee that was kept dark. Ginger ale, it started pretty light, but it still retained that, that tan slight color. Apple juice. And the Earl Grey tea. The effects of the sun on organic matter are often overlooked and not really factored in, but it's a major control on what happens to all these compounds as they're released from, in the case of what we saw yesterday, thermokarst slumps, where organic molecules have been frozen for 10,000 years in the dark. Now they're up at the surface getting blasted by UV light, and that's gonna totally change the possibilities of what's going to happen to them, whether they're going to be just coast out to the ocean and get buried out there in the sediments or in the deep oceans, or if they're just going to become CO2 through microbial respiration or other carbon processes. Photo degradations are happening all around us. It's just not something people often think much about. And I know I didn't, and it happens pretty quickly. So it's a cool, it's a cool phenomenon. <laughs>